Yes, good morning, guys. To all of you, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Byju's Exam Prep. So please tell me, guys, am I properly audible and visible to all of you or not? Then we are starting the session, and uh, this is the practice session for uh, you can say ISRO exam. You know that already the exam date is out, and exam is there for ISRO on seventeenth of December. So keeping that in mind, we are going for this practice session. So guys, in this practice session, we are going to have the subjects from which I have added the question: strength of material, machine design, production. Major questions are from these subjects. Okay. So also some questions are from thermodynamics as well. So you know, uh, slowly, slowly we will be adding up more and more subject into that. So guys, do like and share the session. We are starting it. Yes, Mani. Good morning, Papa Ghoda. Good morning. So now, without wasting the time, we are starting the session. If you are watching me for the first time, this is the detail of me. And today, this is a mixed subject session. And guys, this is my Telegram channel, Mechanical by Dhiraj Sardana. You will get the PDF of this session there, and also you will be getting all the important details, information, PDF, and written notes on this channel. So, guys, now the time have come for the next uh, Mega Mock Challenge, that is going to be from 25th of November. Up to second of December, and this time the syllabus is theory of machines, vibration, machine design, engineering, mechanics, and RAC. So be ready for that. Those who are preparing for gate. And guys, now we are moving ahead. This is the very first question in front of you. This is from strength of material. Yes, Jaya. Good morning. The very first question is from strength of material. A hollow cylindrical shaft is one meter long, has inner diameter and outer diameter forty mm and sixty mm. respectively when this shaft is subjected to a pure torsion of certain magnitude maximum shear stress induced is 120 mpa the corresponding minimum value of shear stress will be i feel you guys are aware that tau is directly proportional to r so if you want to write tau max by tau min it will be nothing but r max by r min and don't worry guys whatever these sessions are they will help you in all the upcoming exam whether it is gate whether it is isro whether it is uh, bdl bel but yes majorly we are concentrating on isro here sir bark ke question gate level ke the lekin usme time nahi diya yes hamesha aisa hota hai dear to uske liye aapko you will see cut off kam jayega don't worry about that cut off kam jayega if that is the case so you need not to worry about that this happens many times in the bark and that's why The cutoff is going lesser, so don't worry about that. So yes, tell me the answer for this question, guys. Tell me the answer for this question. Tell me the answer for this question. And do like and share the session so that other student can also join it. So I got uh, late by three four minutes. Sorry for that. So what would be the answer for this, guys? You are already given that maximum shear stress is one twenty. So 120 is the maximum shear stress you need to find out minimum shear stress you know the maximum diameter is 60 so 30 by 20 so you need to find out the minimum value of shear stress this type of calculation you can do without kelsi very easily very good guys the answer for this will be coming out to be 80 mpa yes it will be 80 mpa so you can see 0 0 will get cancel out it is going to be 80 mpa So answer for this is D. So very good, guys. Moving to the next question. Moving to the next question. Next question is this. So guys, you can see the second question is saying that at a particular cross section of a straight bar of rectangular cross section, the bending moment is one ten thousand newton mm, and the axial force through the centroid of the cross section is one thousand newton. If the area of cross section is hundred mm square, the area moment of inertia is this. the distance between the centroid axis and the neutral axis is so you can see my dear there are two things acting there are two things acting acting one is the axial force and second they are saying is the bending moment okay second they are saying is the bending moment you know for this condition actually the neutral fiber will be shifting the neutral axis is going to shift so they are asking that location from you 
ओके सो यू आर गिवन एट ए पर्टिकुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन ए स्ट्रेट बार ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन द बेंडिंग मोमेंट इज दिस एंड द एक्सियल फोर्स एक्टिंग थ्रू सेंट्रोइड इज दिस इफ द एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन यू कैन से व्हाट यू नीड टू डू हियर यू नो दैट पी बाय ए वुड बी द स्ट्रेस कम बिकॉज़ ऑफ फोर्स एंड एम बाय जेड विल बी द कमिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बेंडिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ द बेंडिंग मोमेंट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस यू नो बेंडिंग मोमेंट कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी इनटू ई you can feel that this couple is coming because of some eccentric load okay so you know if some eccentric load p was present at a distance of e so you are going to consider it that this eccentric axial load is going to result into bending moment and axial force so if you would be going like that you would be having this stress uh, tensile hai na okay are you trying it or shall i help you here प्रोडक्शन का थ्योरी क्वेश्चन का उसका उसके बाद न्यूमेरिकल था हाँ 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 बिल्कुल प्रोडक्शन में न्यूमेरिकल थ्योरी दोनों ही आते हैं आप देखना पर जो मैंने आपको इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स बताए थे मेनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम दो इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ओके इफ यू विल सी यू विल फाइंड मेनी ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मेनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स सो सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन गाइस सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन गाइस so what you need to do here they are saying that the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis they are saying the axial force acting through the centroid is this they have given you the value of p you know that bending moment can be positive or negative and we know that at neutral axis the stress is zero so stress can be zero then in that case it is possible when one is positive other is negative so you need to do p by a is equals to p into e divided by p into e divided by z n a you just need to do this okay and but you are given the value of i n a so you would be writing it as m which is p into e into y max divided by i n a okay and this is p by a so what they are saying you need to find out you need to find out okay uh very good papa god i have solved it madhu have solved it very good the answer for this will be coming out to be 1 mm 1 mm is the correct answer very good guys moving to the next question next question is question number 3 solve it solve it solve it i want answer from all of you side this is a question from kolam so you can see they are saying an aluminium kolam of square section and length 300 mm has both hand pinned so you know that for both hand pinned pe is nothing but n square pi square ei minimum upon le square and they are saying that there is another column of circular section they have same material means young's modulus is same same end condition means formula is same the ratio of critical stresses so they are asking you the critical stresses means euler stresses Euler stresses for square section, but a Euler stresses for circular section. You can see load is directly proportional to I minimum. All other things are constant, so that is why you can directly say it the ratio of I of square divided by I of circle. So just you need to do that. I feel everybody know that what is the area moment of inertia for square? Area moment of inertia for square is a four by twelve. and what is for circle you know that it is pi d4 by 64 so what would be the answer you will get for this what will be the answer you will be getting for this please tell me that tell me tell me tell me Very good, Madhu. Very good, Papa ka ghoda. Very good, Mani. Are you getting C? Everybody is getting C. Everybody is getting C. Madhu's answer is correct. Yes, Mani. What would be the answer? Please tell me the answer. Papa ka ghoda. Soon kariye, bhai. Koi baat nahi yaar. Ab bark ho gaya. Ab isro ki baat karo. C would be the answer, and don't worry, cutoff will be coming lesser if that is the case because many student called uh, told about that they are also saying the same thing. So four by three would be the right answer for this. Very good, guys. Very very good. You guys are doing excellently. 
So if you will see whatever the bark mock test we have taken, the topics, theory of failures questions were there. If you will see the important topic session I have taken, 20 important topics I told you, 13 out of them were asked in the paper. A steel rod of length 300 mm is held between two fixed support. Fixed support means this is the case. Fixed support means this is the case. So that the road cannot elongate or contract in the axial direction. If the temperature of the road is raised by 20 degrees Celsius, delta T is 20. The axial stress induced in the road for the rise of temperature. I feel everybody know the formula for the thermal stress. E alpha delta T. Okay, E alpha delta T. Solve it and get the answer. No one is saying C. Okay, for previous question. Madhu is saying B for this question. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. This is question number 4. Question number 4 it is. We will be trying to do 20 to 25 questions. Very good, Papa Ka Ghoda. Very good, dear. Bahut hi badia. Money, what is the answer? Yes, money, no one. Money, no one. What would be the answer? Zakmi Atma, very good. So, answer will be 46 MPA compression. So, this is question number 4. Moving to question number 5, guys. Moving to question number 5, this is a conceptual question and the question says which one of the following statement is true in the principal planes both normal and shear stresses are always zero in the principal plane shear stress may or may not be zero in the maximum shear stress normal stress may or may not be zero in the principal plane shear stress is always zero and in the maximum shear plane normal stresses are always zero in the principal plane, shear stresses are always zero, but in the maximum shear planes, normal stress may or may not be zero. What is the correct statement? This question have been asked in DRDO, ISRO and MARC all the exams once. Yes, money. Answer for this is going to be D. Because you know when we are talking about the relation between principal stresses, D sigma theta by D theta is coming out to be minus 2 tau theta. And principal planes are defined as the plane at which shear stress is zero. So, my dear, when we are talking about plane of maximum shear, their normal stress can be anything. Can be anything. Can be anything. So, answer will be D for this. Moving to the next question. This was question number 5. Moving to question number 6. Moving to question number 6. Yes, everybody, everybody. Do like and share the session. A steel ball is subjected to direct tensile load of 24 kN and shear load of 9 kN. If the area of cross section is 300 mm square and the yield strength in tension of the ball material is 200 MPa, the operating factor of safety according to maximum shear stress theory. First of all, you need to find out the normal stress which is force but a area. Then you will be finding out shear stress which is force but a area. Now you know because of that, you are going to have this kind of state of stress. For this kind of state of stress, what you need to do, you need to find out principal stresses. So here sigma xx is P by A, sigma yy is 0, tau xy is V by A, because they have given like that. Then my dear, you can find out the sigma 1 comma 2 as sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus square root of xx minus yy by 2 ka square plus tau xy ka square. Then you know you will find out whether the principal stresses are of same nature or opposite nature. Based on their same or opposite nature you will be solving it and if they are of same nature you will write sigma 1 over sigma 2 less than equals to syt by n. And if they are of opposite nature, sigma 1 minus sigma 2 less than equals to SYT by N. And here they have given that the maximum shear stress theory. Okay. And they have given you the strength in tension for the material is 200 MPa. So everybody is giving the answer to be 2. No one is saying C. Nikhil is saying D. I am telling you for this answer is going to be C. Factor of safety will be coming out to be 2. Is it clear for everyone? C is the right answer for this. Madhu, you got it? Fine. Moving to the next question, guys. If anybody have any doubt, they can ask. This is question number 6. Moving to question number 7, guys. Moving to question number 7. Now we are entering into 
द मशीन डिजाइन ए थिन स्फेरिकल प्रेशर वेसल विद फाइव हंड्रेड एम एम इन डायमीटर इज वेल्डेड फ्रॉम द स्टील प्लेट हैविंग यील्ड स्ट्रेंथ टू हंड्रेड एम पी ए एंड लिमिट हंड्रेड एम पी ए दैसल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू इंटरनल प्रेशर विच वेरीज फ्रॉम टू एम पी ए टू सिक्स एम पी ए यू नो दैट स्ट्रेस सरकम फ्रेंशियल इज पी डी बाय फोर्टी ओके बट प्रेशर इज वेरिएबल तो यू कैन फाइंड आउट सिग्मा मिनिमम बाय पुटिंग द मिनिमम प्रेशर डी बाय फोर्टी यू कैन फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम सिग्मा बाय पुटिंग द मैक्सिमम प्रेशर पी डी बाय फोर्टी वेन यू विल बी गेटिंग द मैक्सिम मिनिमम स्ट्रेस यू नो द मीन स्ट्रेस इज मैक्सिमम प्लस मिनिमम बाय टू मैक्सिमम प्लस मिनिमम बाय टू एम्पलीट्यूड स्ट्रेस विल बी मैक्सिमम माइनस मिनिमम बाय टू ओके एंड देन यू नो मीन स्ट्रेस बाय एस वाई टी एम्पलीट्यूड स्ट्रेस बाय एंडस लिमिट इज वन बाय एन सो दे आर फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज गिवन यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट थिकनेस थिकनेस इज अनोन सो यू विल बी सोल्विंग इट इन सच वे दैट एवरीथिंग वुड बी इन द टर्म्स ऑफ थिकनेस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फटीग लोडिंग मशीन डिजाइन I told you today we have question from SOM, MD, production and thermodynamics. Okay, I will be covering guys all of the things. Don't worry. And guys, I want to ask you what frequency you want for ISRO session, alternate days, or on the regular on or every day. You want the session for ISRO every day or alternate days. Based on that, I will plan the sessions. we will be having three mock tests for sure before isro exam okay zakmi atma is saying the answer is d 15 mm what about others okay aniket is saying every day papa ka ghoda is saying 15 mm very good what about others mani no one nikhil sonu madhu what would be the answer for this ha good morning <laughs> zakmi atma good morning how was the exam yesterday for bark okay gorav is also saying every day fine mani is saying c dear answer will be d 15 mm is the correct answer okay 15 mm is the correct answer d is the right d is the right answer okay so when you will be solving this pressure is 2 mpa you will put it here you will get minimum stress 6 mpa you will get maximum stress thickness is not known to us so answer will come in terms of thickness so when you will solve it you will be getting the uh, okay you can also assume this as sigma then this will become 3 sigma because all other things are same pressure is 3 times so you can take in that way also okay then solve it ha zakvi atma that everybody is saying so cut off would be lesser money you got d the answer for this will be d calculations are required nothing more than that answer for this question will be d moving to question number 8 now anybody want any further explanation you can see diameter is also given so just need to put the value nothing more than that moving to the next question question number 8 moving to the next question question number 8 question number 8 is from the clutch a multi disc clutch has four steel and three bronze disc so you know n1 is 4 n2 is 3 so number of disc will be n1 plus n2 minus 1 okay n1 plus n2 minus 1 so my dear you know what is the formula they are saying coefficient of friction is 0.25 assume uniform wear uniform wear theory the power capacity of the clutch so you know when we are talking about power power is torque into omega frictional torque into omega frictional torque is n then 1 by 2 mu w R naught plus R I. This is the torque into omega. So you can say n into mu w mean radius into two pi n by sixty. So just you need to put the values and get the answer. 
solve it. This is from machine design, clutches topic. Solve it guys. If you have any doubt, please ask. If you will say, I will definitely repeat the concept. If you are finding difficulty in calculation, then also you can tell me. This is the number of friction surfaces. Okay. So, they said the coefficient of friction is 0.25. They have given the axial load. Here W is the axial load. Ha, huh. N will be 6. That's correct. So Madhu is saying A. Mani is saying A. Papa Nagoda is saying A. When everybody is saying A, the answer is also A. 360 pi watts. Moving to next question, question number 9. Question number 9 is from the welded joints. This question also appeared in last year gate. So, chances are there that ISRO also will ask this. So, solve this question. I feel everybody remember. Here, tau max will be 2.83 times of T divided by pi d square T. Solve this question. I am giving formula for those who don't know the formula. Because every student may not be ready with all the subjects. Very good Aniket. Bahati badiya shandar. Solve this question guys. This is question number 9. We are going to solve 20 questions today. So guys I would like to tell you actually I am having paid class, paid course class at 12 pm. So will it be fine if we keep the ISRO session timing at 10.30. So that at least one hour session I can take. So, I will plan at least 5 to 6 days a, a week, okay. So, be ready and also mathematics questions I will take, don't worry. Aptitude also we are planning. So, all the previous years mathematics question I will be taking, don't worry about that. Okay. So, Papa Ka Ghoda, Mani, all are saying answer is B. Madhu, are you solving it? The answer is B, that is correct. They have asked you the maximum torque and they have given you the stress. So, 50 was given, 2.83, you need to find out the torque. Rest, all things are given to us. Diameter is 100 mm, weld size is 16. Torque will be coming out to be 2.8 pi kilo Newton meter. Question number 10, guys. Gears. Ha zakmi atma, I know calculator allowed nahi hai, but do thin question hi mene aise dalay, jahan pe aapko calculation karna pad raha hai. Kyunki mujhe concept bhi cover karne hai, to every time it is not feasible to change the data accordingly. To isi liye, ek do question mein aap karlo, koi dikkat nahi hai. Thik hai, waha par bhi ek do question aise milenge, jo aapko chhodne padenge. ठीक है तो वो होता है पेपर में इसरो में भी होता है एक दो क्वेश्चन ऐसे रहेंगे जो आप छोड़ोगे कैलकुलेशंस के कारण तो वो भी अच्छा है ना आपको पहले से पहचान हो जाएगी क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है सो ए गियर सेट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए 16 टीथ पिनियन ड्राइविंग ए 40 टूथ गियर द मॉड्यूल इज 12 एमएम द एडेंडम एंड डिडेंडम इज 12 एंड 15 एमएम प्रेशर एंगल 20 डिग्री द सेंटर डिस्टेंसेस आई फील फॉर दिस वी हैव डन ए लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च when we have two gears, we want to find out the center distance. This is R of pinion, this is R of gear. So, you know this is the center distance. This is a special type of question from the gate. And it's row. RP plus RG. What is radius? Module times number of teeth divided by 2. Plus module time number of teeth divided by 2. ZP, ZG. Module of both the gear will be same. Wonderful guys. So everybody, everybody, the answer for this is going to be 336 mm. D is correct answer. Moving to question number 11. Zakmi pinion chota hota hai, gear bada hota hai. Pinion chota hota hai, gear bada hota hai. ठीक है, pinion is smaller than gear. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन रेडियल प्रेशर इन ए हाइड्रोडाइनमिक बियरिंग इज यूनिफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ लोड मैक्सिमम वेयर फिल्म थिकनेस इज मिनिमम मैक्सिमम वेयर फिल्म थिकनेस इज मैक्सिमम तो आई फील एवरीबडी रिमेंबर नहीं नहीं टीथ से नहीं करते भाई जख्मी आत्मा टीथ से नहीं करते छोटा गियर साइज डायमीटर देखते हैं छोटा गियर टीथ से नहीं देखते मॉड्यूल दोनों के बराबर होते हैं देखो यहां पर यू कैन सी वेन एवर वी आर हैविंग अ बियरिंग लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस बियरिंग इफ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द शाफ्ट लाइक दिस एंड यू नो वी विल बी हैविंग सम लुब्रिकेंट सम लुब्रिकेंट like this so where the minimum oil film thickness is there there we are going to have the maximum pressure okay so answer for this is going to be c very good very good very good moving to question number 12 herring bone gears so i told you na some theory some numerical mixed up questions are there In Isra also, like this, you will find. So, herringbone gears are used to avoid interference, reduce gear weight, reduce the wear of teeth, eliminate the axial thrust. You will see many questions of theoretical nature is coming in the Isra exam. So, you can go with my questions. narendra you are saying for which question i didn't get mu n by p are you asking about z n by p z n by p are you saying z n by p dear actually that z n by p is the bearing characteristic number okay it is it is not telling you about the load and pressure actually why we are designing for minimum oil film thickness because if that layer can bear the load any other layer is getting bear that is the reason behind that that's why every time when you go for design either you will show mu wv case when metal to metal contact is present or the minimum oil film thickness becomes important because if that layer can be here all other can be here that is the reason okay so here the answer is going to be what first of all i would like to tell you we were having the spur gear in the spur gear we were having the problem of impact loading then to make the engagement gradual we went to the helical gear but when we go to the helical gear in the helical gear teeth were like this so when the forces were transmitted like this they were having two components one is axial other is radial so this axial was going to affect the life of bearing okay and this radial this radial was not having any problem here and here the engagement was gradual so we were happy with that so in the helical gear this new problem is coming of axial loading because of this axial loading generally our bearing are uh, for the radial load okay our bearing which we are using they are good for radial load so for axial loading they can fail very soon so because of that to avoid this issue we are going for herring bone gears so the answer for this is d because when we are talking about herring bone gear here we are going to make left and right hand helix both on the same teeth and when we go like this then one force is like this other force is like this and their horizontal component will cancel each other so that is why the answer for this is going to be d is it clear ha narendra you go to my explanation what i said that when we are talking about the bearings i would like to tell you that if you are talking about that if small layer thickness is there if the entire load of the shaft is beared by the small thickness then obviously any other thickness can bear it okay because that layer of lubricant you know that the pressure of that lubricant is going to bear the load of shaft okay so that is why if the minimum oil film thickness is going to bear it all other will be able to bear so there a small layer is going to hold that heavy shaft that is the reason behind that yes very good zakwi atma answer for this is d moving to question number 13 moving to question number 13 once again numerical you can see the beautiful combination of theory and numericals question number 
एट ए पॉइंट ऑन ए कॉम्पोनेंट लोडेड अंडर प्लेन स्ट्रेस कंडीशन यू आर आस्क द पॉसिबल प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस सो सिग्मा वन कोमा टू सोल्व इट एंड गेट द आंसर यस सो मधु हैव गिवन द आंसर फॉर दिस एस सी वट अबाउट अदर्स नो वन इज ऑल्सो गिविंग द आंसर एस सी तो आई आस्क यू वन थिंग दैट एवरीबडी इज ओके विद टेन थर्टी ए एम टाइमिंग बिकॉज आई हैव पेड कोर्स एट ट्वेल्व so can we do the timing to be 10:30 is there any problem to anyone okay so everybody have given the correct answer here c would be the right answer so you would be getting 130 and 30 answer is c for this okay फाइन बाकी लोग जवाब देना जरूरी नहीं समझते ओके नो वन इज सेंग इलेवन एम सो डोंट वरी आई विल ट्राई बट समाइम्स यू मे हैव टू मैनेज बिकॉज अदरवाइज आई हैव टू लीव द क्लास इन फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी मिनट्स दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वंस अगेन फ्रॉम द मशीन डिजाइन माइनर्स रूल हेयर दे आर सेंग फ्रॉम द एस एन कर्व ऑफ ए मटीरियल द फॉलोइंग डेटा इज ऑप्टेन्ड If stress is 400 MPa and is 6000 cycles, and if it is 100 MPa and is 10 to the power 6 cycles, a machine component made of this material is subjected to a completely reverse bonding stress, 400 MPa for 3000 cycle. Then again, if component is subjected to a completely reverse loading stress of 100 MPa, the remaining life of the component is the remaining life of the component is. So I feel you know n one by capital n, n two by capital n two is equals to one. So you can see small n one is three thousand cycle. Then you can see this is capital n one. This is capital n two. You need to find out the n two. हा नरेंद्र वी आर गोइंग विद लाइक दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ इसरो अगर मैं आज ही सारे खतरनाक क्वेश्चन लेके आ जाता तो आप लोग डर जाते यार तो स्लोली स्लोली यू हैव नॉट सीन इन बार्क वी हैव डन लाइक दैट ओनली इन द बार्क वी स्टार्टेड विद नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन देन वी वेंट टू द वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो द सेम वे वी आर मूविंग हेयर ऑल्सो सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट टेल मी द आंसर गाइज Are you getting C? Are you getting C? Everybody, this is minor's rule. So Narendra, have you done this? Very good, Mani. This is minor's rule. Cumulative fatigue failure. अरे भाई यू कैन सी ना थ्री थाउजेंड बाय सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस एन टू बाय टेन की पावर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू वन यस मधु नरेंद्र नोवन जख्मी अनिकेत टेल मी द आंसर Yes, very good. So C would be the right answer. 
तो गाइज मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन दिस इज फ्रॉम थर्मोडाइनामिक्स सो वी हैव मेड अ गुड मिक्सअप ऑफ थ्योरी क्वेश्चन न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन इजी क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक द इसरो एग्जाम इज इन इसरो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर थियोरिटिकल इफ यू सी वी हैव टेकन सेवन प्रीवियस इयर्स पेपर ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल रेस्ट ऑल्सो वी आर प्लानिंग ओके इफ यू सी you will find seven previous years papers are available on this channel so for this question both are path function both are exact differential work is low grade energy heat is high grade or heat is low grade energy work is low grade i feel both are path function is correct and heat is low grade energy is correct so 1 and 4 the answer will be c for this yes very good very easy question this was moving to question number 16 now Moving to question number sixteen now. This is also from basic thermodynamics. So they are saying for an ideal gas, the slope of the constant volume line in the TS diagram is the slope of constant volume line. so we would be having isro type of questions what is the answer for this question number 16 okay very good avinash higher than the slope of constant pressure line i feel this is going to be t by cv this is going to be t by cp and cp is more than cv fine moving to next question question number 17 this question is from isro pyq this question is the isro pyq it was also asked in drdo two times this question is repeated question of isro and drdo question number 17 the joule thomson coefficient for an ideal gas in the throttling process equal to 0 at all the temperature pressure equal to 1 at all the temperature pressure greater than 1 at all temperature pressure Less than zero at all temperature pressure. This is question number seventeen. What would be the answer, guys? Yes, A would be the right answer. So this was the easy question. So some easy question also to motivate you because in any exam, fifty percent questions are such that you can easily attempt them. Very good. So moving to next question, guys. This is question number eighteen. Now metal cutting. production part the cutting tool that performs orthogonal cutting is you know every cutting tool is doing oblique machining we need to make a cutting operation orthogonal so answer for this is single point cutting tool actually the operation turning is oblique only but for is the analysis we are making it orthogonal answer will be d for this question number 19 question number 19 for the fixed cutting speed and feed when the positive rake angle of a cutting tool increases the tool life will this is a very good question very good question i would like to tell you when you make the graph for tool life with alpha then you will see the complete graph for this it is coming initially with the with the increase of alpha tool life is going to increase then decrease why initially tool life is increasing because when you are increasing alpha tool is becoming sharper less cutting forces and cutting power would be required then it will be reaching to the optimum after that the tool life reduces because when you are going to increase the rake angle you know this is the rake angle when you are going to increase the rake angle the tool will become sharper and sharper more sharper means less strength so after some time the tool life will start reducing 
So answer for this is going to be first increases then decreases. C is the right answer. This was a very good question. And moving to the next question guys. Moving to the next question. The nature of directrix required to produce the cylindrical surface in the lathe. Yes, you want cylindrical surface. So for that, what should be the directrix? Very good question. So dear, I would like to tell you there are two things. There are two things. One is generatrix one is generatrix other is directrix generatrix is coming from cutting motion directrix is coming from feed motion you know that this component will be present in the chuck Chuck will be rotating this workpiece which will provide us the cutting motion and this will be the tool to cover the entire length tool will be given a feed motion in this direction so my dear cutting motion is the circular one feed motion is the straight line then only you will be getting the circular surface cylindrical surface so generatrix is cutting motion generatrix is this directrix is this so the answer is straight line everybody got the concept of directrix and generatrix it is a good concept important concept it asked in gate also and isro also did also okay so i have just changed the question all other things are same okay i have changed the uh, you can say the statement of the question but the concept is going to be the same everybody got it so guys let us see the next question a plate of 25 mm thickness is to be drilled at the feed rate of 0.025 mm per revolution within 20 seconds. Neglecting breakthrough distance, the drilling speed would be. So, you know that the formula for machining time is L by Fn. Because they are saying forget about approach and overtrend. So, you know that they are asking you, they are asking you, they are asking you the drilling speed. You need to find out the N value. This type of question you will see in exam where less calculations are required. Clear nahi hua Savan? Okay, clear kar dete hai. Clear kar dete hai. Clear kar dete hai. Chali dekhte hai. Chali dekhte hai. Dekhi, there are two things. One is cutting motion. Other is feed motion. We are having the workpiece like this. This is present in the chuck. Okay. And my dear, this workpiece is going to be given rotation by the chuck. It is rotating because chuck is rotating. So that's why we are just putting our cutting tool like this. When our cutting tool will be coming in contact of this, automatically entire circumference will be covered. Why? Because this is rotating. Na? So that is why the entire circumference will be covered. So I can say in other words, this material will get cut if I don't give any motion to the tool because of the rotation of workpiece. This is said to be cutting motion. But if you want to cover this entire length, you need to give some motion to the tool. That motion is said to be feed. So, this rotation of the workpiece is the cutting motion. So, cutting motion is happening in this direction. This is cutting motion. Feed motion is this. Cutting motion is said to be generatrix. This is the first requirement. Feed motion is said to be directrix. This is the direction given to the tool. So, directrix should be a straight line, then only you will be getting the cylindrical surface. Now, Savan, it is clear to you or not? Please tell me that. Now, it is clear to you or not? Please tell me that. Savan, clear for everyone? Okay, Madhu, I have given the answer for the next question. The answer for this will be coming out to be what? 
it will be 3000 rpm 3000 rpm so savan this is the case likewise if you are talking about shaper and planer so in shaper and planer this is your cutting tool your cutting tool is moving like this hai na in shaper and planer so this is the generatrix and work piece is moving like this feed is given to the work piece so work piece is moving like this this is this is the work piece motion feed so this is uh, generatrix this is directrix so their surface will be rectangle because one line was this other line is this so likewise we can see the surface of directrix and generatrix cutting tool motion cutting cutting motion is generatrix feed motion is directrix so answer for this question is d we have already seen i have cleared your doubt so guys today i will be leaving here because i already told you that i am having class at 12 pm but from the next day onwards i will try to keep either my paid course delay and we will be having at least at least one hour session maybe more than that also and also one more thing i will try to keep at least 5 to 6 days a week don't miss these session these sessions are going to help you a lot because the students who have appeared for the bark mock test they would be knowing how much similar question they got in the exam so guys if you would be coming on the regular basis you are going to enjoy these sessions and also it will help you in exams so we will be meeting again on uh, to, today's thursday na next session is on saturday and from next week onward we will be meeting every day so be ready for that uh Savan, okay, I will try to do, but the poor problem is there are many students from South India also who do not understand Hindi. How many for that also? I will make the video more weighted subject. I will also do the last three years analysis for you guys. Don't worry. So every day you will get at least one session for ISRO from Monday onwards. But next ISRO practice session will be on Saturday. So be ready for that. Saturday we are meeting. Okay. so goodbye for this particular session you will get this pdf on my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana goodbye and thanks for your wonderful love and support goodbye